Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can overcome the fear of sketching outdoors and tell you why you may want to sketch outside. Alright, let's head out. One nice thing about sketching outdoors is you may actually go to places that you have not been to. That's actually one of the best thing about urban sketching. You may discover new places, you may see beautiful buildings, you may see interesting things that happen on the street, things that you don't usually notice when you're walking. Now when you are looking for places to draw, you pay more attention and you can remember more of what you see. So that is an experience by itself. Have you actually gone on a holiday and you have this heightened sense of awareness, this holiday mood? Well, you actually get that when you're out urban sketching. So it looks like SMU is having a fair to celebrate their 20th anniversary. I've asked a few people who are setting up the stalls and this fair will be up tomorrow. I have walked through SMU many times before and I've never noticed the class plaques that are on the ground. The thing is if I'm just walking through the campus going from one place to the other I wouldn't even notice things like this. So I may actually come back here tomorrow to sketch when all the stores are up. It could be quite fun. It has been a while since I've been back here near the National Museum and they have added a whole new building right here. This place used to be just grass. The thing is there is no easy way to overcome the fear other than to just dive right in. But I do have a few tips to make it easier. So the first tip is to go out and sketch with friends who also sketch. The first time I sketched outdoors was with my friends from the Urban Sketches Singapore group and that was in 2009. That's almost 10 years ago. So as the saying goes, there is safety in numbers. And when you're sketching outdoors with your friends in a large group, it's actually more fun than anything else. And the more often you do this, the more often you go outside and sketch, the more experienced you will be and it will become less awkward. And sooner or later, everything uh, will just become second nature and you won't even feel like sketching outdoor is weird anymore. It just feels natural. Fast forward 10 years later now, I can actually sit here alone and sketch this building behind me. If there are people standing behind me, I won't even feel that there's anything wrong. The second tip is to find a place where there are less people. It may be less stressful that way because when you are sketching, you're doing something that people don't normally do. Sometimes you are going to attract attention and people may actually come and stand behind you, watch over your shoulder and see what you're doing. So if you choose a place with less people such as a park perhaps, then you can practice your sketching, you can get familiar with sketching outdoors and you don't have the fear of people looking over your shoulders. I've already grown accustomed to people standing behind me to watch me draw. Most of the time they don't actually talk but sometimes they do talk and I remember one interesting experience where this guy handed me a cold can of soft drink on a hot sunny day and he said to me boss give you, boss give you. And I realized that I was actually sketching in front of a shop and the owner of the shop actually passed a can of soft drink to the employee who passed it to me. So that's a pretty good experience. When there are people standing behind you looking at your work, they may be judging you, they may think good things or bad things about you, but what they think is not important and you don't have to care about what they think because you cannot control what they think. Once you start to realize that you don't actually have to care about what other people think or say about you, you start to feel at ease. Other places I would recommend you to sketch at would be at cafes, eating places, libraries, bus stations, bus interchange, train stations. These are places where people are minding their own business so they're not going to notice what you're doing unless you do something to attract their attention. And this brings me to the third tip. Don't do things that attract other people's attention. So when you're sketching outdoors, try not to have too many movements, for example, if you are drawing people, don't keep looking at a sketchbook and looking up. So um, this constant motion is quite unnatural and it's definitely going to draw attention. So um, what I usually do when I'm sketching outdoors is actually to look at my sketchbook and tilt my eyes up like this rather than move my whole head. 
I actually have a whole video on how you can sketch people on the train. You may want to uh, check that out. The link to that video will be in the video description below. My fourth tip for you would be to not focus on getting the perfect sketch because there is no such thing as a perfect sketch. Instead, focus on being in the present. Focus on observing the surrounding. Focus on looking. Focus on drawing. Basically, focus on enjoying the moment. When you really focus on your drawing, you won't even notice how fast the time will pass and you won't even notice the people around you. Sometimes when people talk to you or if there are people actually standing behind you, when you're truly focused, sometimes you don't even know that there are people standing behind you. So just focus on what you do. Don't, um, don't be bothered about what other people what you think other people may think about your work. So here's a quick sketch I drew under 20 or 15 minutes and I realized I forgot to bring the grey brush. This is actually empty. So I only have this black brush with me today. So those are the tips that I have for you. I'm very sure that once you start sketching outdoors you ask yourself, why haven't I done this earlier? All right, let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you have the fear of sketching outdoors or do you enjoy sketching outdoors? If so, what do you like about sketching outdoors? And do you have any tips that you can share with others who might want to sketch outdoors? I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching today's video. See you in the next one. Bye.